What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Dr. D-Dub here and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Today it looks like we have a beautiful harvest of almost everything. This looks like just about, no I don't want to eat it. <laughs> this looks like every single crop minus one green bean, I think? That is amazing. Oh my goodness, stop doing that. I need to hold a tool when I do this, there we go. I'm learning, guys. I'm slowly learning how to play this game. <laughs> All right. Um, today, uh, we don't... What day did I say our axe is going to be ready? I think it's tomorrow. I don't think we'll have the ability to get our axe today. So that means no cutting wood for today. But that's fine, because we don't really need to cut much wood today. Um, what we do need to do, or not need to, but it's something I want to do, is check my mail. <laughs> dear D-Dub, it's been so long since I heard from you, dear. Things are the same as ever back home. I miss you very much. Love, Mom. P.S. Found an envelope with some money Grandpa left for you. Oh, he left me a farm and 500 gold? Awesome. Sweet. Thanks, Mom. Um, but yeah, today I want to go stop by Robbins and see how much it costs for a house upgrade. Um, oh my goodness, we're going to make so much money from all this. Uh, see how much it costs for a house upgrade. We probably won't be getting it right away um but in the event that things really go our way in early summer which i'm really hoping they do um we'll hopefully be able to get our chicken coop that we've been talking about getting for the past ever and maybe have a little bit money left over to uh see about upgrading our house excuse me i had to burp there um <laughs> Today, the spirits are in a fantastic mood, though, so I'm thinking today would be a good day to go mining. Hopefully, we can get deep enough in the mines, and I, we're pretty good on copper for the time being. Um, speaking of which, we should probably start smelting some of this. Um, we're good enough on copper that I think anything we find today, we might be able to sell. I think that could be really nice. See how much money we end up making from selling a bunch of copper, um, copper bars at least. We'll have to smelt them down, so we might not be able to do it right away. So the more I say that, the less it makes sense. Uh, but yeah, I think today's a good day to go mining regardless. We have 13 quartz. We could probably get away with selling a few of those. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna mine today. That sounds good. I am only going to go five levels and then get out. I'm not going to do what I have been doing every time I've been mining the past couple times and just keep going and going until I pass out, because that's not cool. I'm not about it. Uh, but look at the worms. Hey, perfect. Copper. We got copper before we even made it to the mine. Perfect. All right, let's give these to Linus and then make our way in. This is a great gift. Thank you. You're welcome. And actually, does Robin open at... Does she open at 9? Pretty sure she opens at 9. Um, no. No, no, no. We're going to go mining. Five levels only. And that won't take too long. So Robin should still be open when we get out. So, without further ado, let's get mining. Ah, 
Level 30, finally. <laughs> All right, let's get the heck out of here. Oh, it's nice to have time left in our day after a day of mining. That never happens. Oh, and I just remembered, um, we we got uh, one of our, it's not an achievement, one of our monster hunting goals accomplished, I believe. Uh, not today, but a couple times ago when we went mining, we got our cave insects done, which I believe the little, um, oh, what are they called? The little, um, the bugs that fly around and the little larva that turn into those flying bugs. I think that's what they're talking about. What the heck? That's so cool. We got a standard metal blade that we're currently using. Four to eight damage and plus two speed. This gives us 10 to 20 damage. Oh my gosh, that's more than a... Oh, sweet. That's more than a two-fold increase. That's so cool. And probably better than a lot of stuff we can buy, too. 9 to 17 is the best that there is. Oh, now we can buy it since we earned it. That's cool. How much is that worth? 10,000? Yet I can only sell it for 300. <laughs> I would honestly have possibly considered selling that if I got 10,000 gold. Actually, I 100% would have. I'm okay with having a not-so-fantastic sword. It's not the biggest deal in the world to me, but that gold would have been fantastic to have. Oh, well. All right, let's see if a it's Friday. Never mind. <laughs> Where is Robin on a Friday? What is she doing today? I don't know. I got to do a better job of remembering everyone's schedules. That's something I'm not fantastic at. Maru's taking the day off, though. What's up, Maru? Sorry if I seem cranky. I'm a little sore from work yesterday. I had to sort patient records for four hours straight. That sounds really fun. Yeah, we'll, we'll say fun. Does Lewis like salmon berries? Let's find out. No, stop trying to eat it. I already gave him a gift to... Oh, no, I didn't. It's this bug again. Well, I guess it's a thought that counts. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's a common bug. There's Robin. What's up, girl? Yes, I met your son. I'm just going to talk to these people because they're all right here. Oh, that looks so weird. That sword. <laughs> all right, Shane, come here. I hate talking to people with my sword out. It keeps trying to, like, defend, which is something I don't ever do in the mine. You can actually block with your sword every so often. That's why that little noise, or that's what that little noise is. It's indicating when your cooldown is done. Um, pretty productive day in the mines. Although, not as productive as I would like. Uh, we're probably going to head out and do a little bit of fishing. I know that's not super exciting. Sorry about that. Uh, but I did mention that the end of spring is all about getting... Um, we're actually going to leave our copper... Let's start leaving our copper and uh, coal on us, just so anytime we're here, we can pick up a bar and just get it smelting. That's something we don't do nearly enough of. Um, what was I saying, though? Let's sell some of these. Uh, we got a mushroom. That's the first time we found one of those in the mines. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, yes, the end of spring. It's all about making money, and so we need to actually start doing a little bit of that. And then our steel small sword and our... Actually, we'll put the sword that we're no longer using in this one so we can put it with our sneakers because <laughs> we can go sell those, I'm pretty sure, uh, back to Marlin. So that'll be nice. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to get all my chests in order. I cannot wait for spring to happen. Or not spring. For spring to be over and for summer to happen. Because when it does, we're going to be reorganizing everything and it's going to be amazing i won't have to keep going into chests like a dozen times to find where stuff goes and i'm saying there's bait over here which doesn't go in that chest it goes in this chest ah if you guys knew me in in real life or if any of you do you know how i like things to be very much organized and so the fact that these are not organized is kind of driving me nuts just slightly um, but yeah, we'll hang on to the coal, 
uh, just to have it in our inventory, and then the copper bar just to leave a stack of it, uh, so we don't have to keep taking that out and putting it somewhere else. But pretty much anytime we walk by this furnace for the time being, we'll go ahead and pop a little, a little copper in it. And so we can make some copper bars. It'll save on storage space, assuming we can get rid of every single copper ore. If not, it doesn't make a difference. But see, we can just do that, and it's super easy. Um, we're going to go fish for a little bit, probably for the remainder of our day. Again, sorry it's not the most exciting thing, but tomorrow we do have a couple fun things planned. And then in next episode, I've got a treat for you guys. So I appreciate you being patient. It's the grind of the game. We just got to get, get some money going. Uh, but we're going to... Let's go to the beach. Let's fish at the beach. Um, I don't know if there's any nighttime specific fish at the beach. I think it's the eel. Um, I think that's one of the night fish that we don't have yet. We've got the uh, bream and then the eel, I'm pretty sure, comes from the ocean. I don't know why you would have an eel in a freshwater stream, so that's got to be right. <laughs> I think, or I hope. Uh, but yeah, we're going to spend the rest of the day fishing away. Uh, tomorrow, we go get our axe from Clint, which I'm excited for. Because that'll be our second out of four copper tools. So that'll be nice. And then we can also resume cutting things down. Not that we do a lot of that, but... Ooh, awesome. I love expanding the library. Yeah, the tips there aren't the most exciting things ever. But they can actually be somewhat helpful if you read them. But alright guys, I'm going to fish the day away. Hopefully I can catch an eel. If I do, I'll definitely show that. Because I think that'd be pretty cool. Otherwise, I will see you guys when I'm done fishing, and I'll talk to you in a sec. Ooh, and I'm totally hitting up those bubbles. Oh, sad day. Oh, why is Willie up so late? Oh, he was at the bar. Just kidding. Uh, that was slightly disappointing. Uh, those bubbles that I got all excited about, I caught a thing of seaweed and one fish, and then they disappeared. <laughs> and so we were just stuck doing regular non-bubble fishing. <laughs> Which is a little bit slower. What's Emily? Just, I just said, what's Emily? What's up, Emily? Just getting off work? Yes, you are. Uh, and we didn't catch an eel, which is slightly disappointing. I don't even know if you can catch them. It might be a summer thing. I'm not sure. I know there's a couple fish that only become available in summer. I think the puffer fish, which is one of the... Um, what do they call them? Exotic fish or... I, I don't remember what they're called. Uh, but I'm pretty sure some of them are only summer. But we did get a chest which had an ancient sword in it, which is an artifact, not something we can actually use. And a couple gold tier fish. So not too horrible of a haul. Um, tomorrow, I actually want to head... Well, it's no surprise. Tomorrow, I want to head to Clint and pick up our axe. And while we're there, we might as well get all of these geodes cracked open. Uh, we have seven regular ones, and I'm pretty sure we've got this, what was it, a magma geode? An omni geode. These geodes contain a wide variety of minerals. Okay, so this one is, I think, guaranteed to have a mineral in it? That's kind of cool. Uh, so we'll take that, and then, is there anything else we can donate to the museum? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Um... But, oh, one thing I didn't mention is that red mushroom we got in the mines yesterday, I'm pretty sure is part of one of these bundles. Exotic foraging bundle? So we've got the red mushroom, we've got the cave carrot, we've got pine tar, and we've got a morel. So all we have to do is make another tapper, put it on a different tree than a pine tree, and we can get either oak resin or maple syrup, and we'll be done with our exotic foraging bundle. So that one is not far off, which is actually pretty exciting. Um, every time we can get a bundle done, that's one step closer to sort of the end game, which is really, really fun. Or really exciting. Ooh, speaking of exciting... Level 5 farming. We can now choose a profession. So we've got rancher, where animal products are worth 20% more, or tiller, where crops are worth 10% more. Oh, gosh. 
I I don't know what I want to do. Um. Oh boy, we don't have any animals yet, so I I'm not gonna benefit immediately. But I don't know how much of each I'm gonna be doing. Ooh. I feel like there's more money in crops. You get those, like our cauliflower harvest was worth thousands. And that's, you know, without fertilizer and it's not the best crop in the game. And I didn't plant that much of it. Animals, we can only have so many within each barn or coop or wherever you keep them. Crops, we can put everywhere. So we have the opportunity to plant a lot more crops. So I think even though it's half the percentage gain, 10% versus 20%, I think I'm going to go with tiller. I think that could be a little bit more beneficial in the long run. And look at that, 3,000 gold in one day. That is exciting. I said my goal was, what, 10, 10 grand? And we've got today and tomorrow to try and hit that goal. We are just over halfway there. So that's going to be... I didn't check the TV. That's going to be interesting i don't know if i'll get that goal or not but not like it matters too much i get what i get so uh somewhat annoyed that's not great and it really doesn't matter if it rains or not i'm just gonna leave these up just in case something else actually i'm not even watering them so there's really no point uh so never mind i have no reason to keep those up but they're staying up regardless and then i totally forgot to put this seaweed up Let's go say hi to Atlas real quick. And then we're gonna head over. Hello, Atlas. We're gonna head over to uh, Clint and see if we can't get our ax back. I also want to stop by um, Pierre's. I have a sinking feeling in my stomach that yesterday was someone's birthday and we totally missed it. I remember seeing on the calendar that two people had back-to-back -back birthdays at the end of the month. I don't know if it was the 26th and 27th, or the 27th and the 28th. I'm thinking it was the 26th and 27th. So if I did, sorry, whose ever birthday it was that I missed, but let's find out. Oh my goodness. Dang it. Yeah, okay, so I was right. We missed Pierre's birthday. Uh, what is Emily like? Cloth? She's into fashion. Maybe she'll just like a straight up flower? I don't know. If we can forage for one and not have to go back to the farm to get one for her, that'd be nice. Um, but seeing as how Clint doesn't open till 9, uh, let's go check out the beach, see if there's any forage that we can grab. I know there's no flowers down here, but maybe we can get something worth money that we can sell. A cockle? Ooh. Oh, dang it. It's gold tier. I have no problem giving it away if it's regular, but if it's gold, I really want to sell it. Um, I'm pretty sure that's part of our crab pot. Yeah, a cockle. And then we also have an oyster, I believe. Or a... Yeah, I think we have an oyster. So we can actually finish the crab pot bundle as well. We might hold off. I don't really want to give away my gold tier item. I'll hang on to it for now. And there's no rush to complete it. We don't get anything, like, right away if we do. Well, that's not true. We do get a reward right away. But nothing amazing right away. Um, that looks like everything down here. That's worth a decent amount of money. Coral actually sells for a good amount. All right, but that that's killed enough time. Let's go head over to Clint and see if we can't get our axe back. Hello, Clint. I'm here. Open up. Let me in. I have, I have work for you. Stop complaining about being or how slow work is because I'm here to give you work and you're just not open. Okay, thank you. Wow, that's a good tip, seeing, seeing as how it's her birthday today. If you want to get on Emily's good side, give her Aquamarine. It would make a great gift. Wow. Ooh, Copper X. And did I have this flower in my inventory when I was talking about how I wish we had a, or could find a flower? If I did... I'm dumb, and I totally just didn't see that. Oh, well. All right. Clint, process me some geodes. We'll save that Omni geode for last, because I'm hoping that contains something pretty cool. Hopefully, we can get some museum donations here. 
so we can get a reward. What is that? Fossilized crap? <laughs> Looks like a, a poop emoji. <laughs> oh, this is slightly underwhelming. Last one. Ooh, that's actually exciting. Iron. We don't have any of that yet. And that is... Alamite. Do we have that yet? We do. Jeez. Did we get anything we can give him? Let's just go find out when we're at the museum, because it highlights what we can give him. So, I don't have to fumble through my inventory. Ooh, we've got some new books to read, too. Sweet. All right. Gunther, take my stuff. Take the two things I can give you. All right. So, we've got the rusty sword, or, or ancient sword, I think it was called. And then, whatever this is. And no reward. Oh, well. Okay, let's get our read on while we're here. What are these books? Um, Did we already read this one? We've definitely already read this one. We're still playing catch up with our books. <laughs> I think this book we caught up though. Uh, so if you want to read that, there it is. This one, however, I believe is new. How deep do the mines go? This question has been pondered by many Stardew Valley explorers over the years. The truth is, no one really knows, or at least they aren't telling anyone. Unfortunately, many of those who venture deep into the mines never return. However, there have been a few bold adventurers who have traveled deep into the mines and have resurfaced with interesting reports. Apparently, there are three distinct areas in the mine, each with unique monsters and treasures. Some adventures speak of gigantic underground lakes and strange creatures, but none of these claims have been proven. I actually think we've seen one of those underground lakes. I think it was on level 20. We just didn't have... Uh, what am I saying? We didn't have uh, our fishing rod on us because we never take our rod with us when we go mining. Uh, but one of these days, if I remember ever, um, we might take our, our rod with us and go down to specifically the levels with the water on it which again I think was level 20 and then I think there's actually like two more lakes in the mine I don't remember but I'm pretty sure that's where you get one of the um it's not a legendary fish but it's one of the uh specialty fish I think it's the the ghost fish sandfish I think comes from the desert which I've never been to, but I know exists in this game. Pufferfish comes from the ocean, and the woodskip fish comes from an area that we don't have access to yet. But hopefully, we should soon. Ooh, and now that we have our axe, let's go do with it what I was wanting it for, if that made any sense. The reason I wanted a copper axe was so that I could cut through some of the stuff uh, on the upper level of our farm here where our crops are going to end up going. And so let's see if it's actually going to work for that. So I know without a doubt that we can cut down these little logs or twigs, basically. But can we now cut these? Oh, we can. Let's stand on this side so we don't... Oh, that's actually not any wood that's falling off. Oh, yes. We can now cut hardwood, guys. That is incredibly exciting. Hardwood is a different kind of wood that's used for buildings and several uh, crafting recipes. I don't think we have any that require hardwood yet. Actually, we might have some, but... Anyway, we have it now, and that's actually really exciting. And one great thing about this farm... Hold on, that's four, five, six, seven, eight. That used to take 10 to cut down. Now it takes eight swings. And this used to take five. I'm gonna guess it takes four. There we go. So we save ourselves three swings with our ax to cut down a tree. Do we not have enough inventory space? We most certainly do not. All right, let's dump some of our inventory. See if we can't make a little money in the process. Sell that. All right. No one yell at me. I know there's some stuff that we got that we don't have many of, like that. Um, we're actually going to sell this cockle. I know we'll come across one eventually. Um, iron we need to hang on to, but we'll sell 
all of this, this other stuff. I know I'm really breaking the uh, keep one of everything rule that I always harp upon. But right now... Ooh, also... Was it Amethyst or Aquamarine? I don't remember. That Emily likes? We'll take an Amethyst. I can't honestly remember. And it's purple, so maybe she'll still like it. Both Amethyst and Aquamarine. No, that's not true. I don't remember what it was, but that's what we're going to give her. So <laughs> we'll keep that in our inventory so don't forget. Let me actually put it on the uh, upper bar here so I can actually see it and remember. Uh, but yeah, we're going to clear some of these trees out. And one of the great things about this farm in particular is the fact, and we haven't really used it much yet, or taken advantage of it, I should say, uh, but the fact that hardwood actually spawns on our farm. Uh, normally, the only way you can get hardwood is, I think we even need a higher level axe than what we currently have. Does this break? No. So our axe isn't even strong enough to break this log. So we need, I think, at least a steel axe. Uh, to be able to access an area that has hardwood. But with this farm, it's right here. We don't have to leave our farm to get hardwood, which is amazing. And I'm pretty sure this regenerates daily. We'll find out um, in next episode when we come back over to this area, if we remember. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this stuff regenerates daily. And that's what, eight pieces over here? that regenerate at least, and then another two more down here. Another four down, we can get 16 pieces of hardwood a day. That is actually a lot of hardwood. And at the expense of our salmon berries, let's not pass out. I don't really want to do that. That doesn't sound like something fun. Uh, we actually have quite a bit of time left in today, and we need to make money. We need to make money bad. I really still want to do hit that 10 grand mark, if at all possible. So again, we're going to go fishing. Um, but today, I think we're going to hit up the river. Uh, so just kind of to the right of Mayor Lewis's house. I don't quite know why I'm cutting all this down right now. I'm just really excited about the fact that we can now harvest hardwood on our own farm, nonetheless, which is pretty cool. All right, let's head back up, dump all this stuff off. Uh, we will go fish, and then we will stop by the saloon to pay Emily a visit and wish her happy birthday with this gift that she may or may not even like. So that's a thing. All right. I'm loving having this stuff on me. Uh, that won't be as necessary in a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean like summer one or two or slightly after that. Very early summer, we're going to have a new little area set up that will be really, really convenient, I think. I think you guys will like it. All right, but I'm going to head over. Hold on. Is there anything else I need to do today? The end of spring, or the end of any season for that matter, always makes me feel like I'm forgetting something. Like, in our community center bundles, we've done the spring crops bundle. We've done the spring foraging bundle. Um, the exotic stuff aren't exclusive to any season. None of these fish, I don't believe, are exclusive to spring. Uh, all this stuff we can get any time of year. This is the one I forgot to look at last time we checked all this stuff out. We still don't have a frozen tier or fire court, so that's a ways off. And we probably have 99 slime. And we haven't come across any of these yet either. But again, none of those are season related. So as much as it, or as much as I'm like freaking out that we don't have everything done that we need, I'm pretty sure we do. I hope so at least. That would be unfortunate to find out that we don't. But all right guys, I'm gonna fish here for a bit. I'll make sure I get done before midnight and have enough time to head over to the saloon and pay Emily a visit. Wish her happy birthday, and hopefully I got her the right gift. Hopefully she doesn't absolutely hate this, because that would be unfortunate. Because I don't like giving away my gems to people who don't like them. That's not cool. But alright guys, enough rambling. I'm going to fish. I'll see you in a bit. And yes, I do see those bubbles. I'm headed there next. Man, 
I don't know what it is about those bubbles, but they have something against me. I don't... It's so weird. Um, I got one soggy newspaper, and then they disappeared. But on the bright side, we did catch quite a few fish. Um, not worth a ton of money, but it was, you know, what, what else could I do? And the more amethyst I got, I actually got two chests with three amethyst in total between the two of them. The more I'm thinking that it's actually aquamarine. Uh, but I'm still going to give her one, regardless. <laughs> Pam isn't responding, probably because I waited to come until 11. <laughs> this is a really nice gift. She's probably drunk by now. I'd love to, or I love to decorate for the different seasons. Leah, you can decorate the inside of our house once we're married, because that's totally going to happen one day. All right, Emily. Happy birthday, girl. This probably isn't what you want, but it's purple, kind of like your hair. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. Hopefully she's not just saying that. Awesome. Cool. I don't know if it was aquamarine or amethyst. I'm sure one of you will let me know in the comments down below whether I totally screwed up, uh, whether or not you were cringing and yelling at your screen this entire time. Well, I thought it was amethyst, but I don't really care because she said she loved it. And how much did that help? A lot. She is now easily, by an entire heart, our most loved, or I, I don't know, you guys see, she's at the top, whatever you want to say about that. And where is, did I pass her already? Okay, good. I was like, how is she so far down there? Where's, okay, Leah's our second most liked single, single lady. So we gotta, we gotta work more on Leah. I don't know when her birthday is, but I cannot miss it like I have so many other birthdays. I think I've missed, what, three? Three birthdays so far? I aim to not miss any more. That's a lofty ambition, I know, but... Uh, you know what? Let's sell a few of these. Why not? What else can we sell? We need to make money. We'll sell a few copper bars, see if they sell for anything. I don't think they'll sell for too much, but that's okay. Oh, but that 22 hardwood, it's a beautiful thing. Any fish we can sell? You could probably t sell a few chub. Why not? Maybe a few seaweed. I don't know. I'm just trying to make money anywhere I can. <laughs> and then we'll put the green algae back. Actually, there's no way we need all that green algae, right? We'll sell that. We'll hang on to the bream. Sell that one. And then I think that's good. I think. Could be wrong. But I think that's good. Cool. Let's sell all of that. We're not going to make too much money from it. But hopefully it's something. Oh, man. Is there anything else we need to do? I don't believe so. It's getting late. Let's actually go to bed and wake up with some possibly full energy tomorrow. <laughs> that would be nice. Oh, my gosh. Guys, I know we do a lot of fishing here, but it's paying off. Level 7 fishing, plus 1 raw proficiency. And we can now craft, again, two different bobber or lures that we don't have the ability to put on our rods yet. Because we don't have or on our rod singular, because we don't have the ability to put lures or bobbers on them, or even bait for that matter. But we'll get there soon. It's one of the things on my long list of stuff I want to get done. We've got tools to upgrade, our fishing rod we can upgrade twice. Um, we need a bigger house, we need a coop, we need a barn, we need to go deeper in the mines, we need to build more stuff on our farm, we need to uh, rearrange our farm, we need to woo Leah, we need, like, the list goes on and on and on. We need a bigger backpack, like, there's so much stuff we have left to do, guys. It's amazing, and that's one of my favorite things about this game. There's always something to do. But alright, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. When we get back next time, we're gonna finish out spring and do a little bit of planning for summer. I want to kind of walk you guys through what I have in mind. We'll kind of do a little walk through the farm and I'll kind of go over what's going where and kind of my thoughts. And assuming you can respond with a comment to that video within like a day or two of it going up, 
then you might have a say in how my farm ends up looking because I won't be recording the next episode where I actually, you know, put things together in the farm on summer one uh, for a couple days after that. So assuming you can get in and watch and comment quickly, then yeah, you might have a say in how my farm ends up looking. But all right, guys, thank you very much for watching. That's going to do it for today. I will see you in the next one. I hope you're excited for it because I know I am. And until then, as always, take care. <laughs>